In this video, I'm going to write a program in C to find the reverse of an integer. So the first thing we'll do is create a variable to store that integer. We'll say int number is equal to zero. We'll also create a variable to store the reverse. So we'll say int reverse is equal to zero. Now the algorithm we're going to use to find the reverse is going to involve using the modulus operator. And the modulus operator returns the remainder of a division operation. So I'll actually create a variable called remainder to store those values. We're going to ask the user to enter the number. So first we'll prompt them for the number. We'll say enter number. And then we'll use a scanf to store the number they enter into the number variable. So percent %d is going to read in an integer. And then and number is going to store that integer into the number variable. So next we've actually got to create the algorithm to solve this problem. So the way this algorithm is going to work is that we're going to pull off each digit from number going from right to left one at a time. We're going to take that number and we're going to add it to reverse. Before we add it to reverse, we're going to multiply reverse by 10 to shift any existing digits in reverse over to the left by one. If we continue to do this until the number is zero, we'll have stored the reverse of that number into reverse. So let's go over the code and then we'll go over an example. Here I'll say, while the number doesn't equal zero, we're gonna keep going with this process. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off the next rightmost digit of number. And we're gonna store that digit into remainder. And the way we're gonna do that is with that modulus operator. So I'll say here, remainder is equal to number modulus 10. So the modulus operator is going to return the remainder of number divided by 10. What this is going to do as a practical matter is return the rightmost digit of that number. The next thing we're going to do is take reverse and we're going to multiply it by 10. So we're going to say reverse is equal to reverse times 10. That's going to have the effect of shifting over all of the existing digits in reverse to the left by one. Now we're going to take that remainder and we're going to add it to reverse. So we'll say reverse is equal to reverse plus the remainder. So now we've actually added that digit onto the rightmost side of the reverse. Now what we've got to do is take the number and divide it by 10. What this will effectively do is remove that last digit from the number that we just pulled out with the remainder operation. So now that we've actually calculated the reverse, we can print it out. So we'll say here, printf reversed number, percent %d slash n, and we'll output reverse. Now let's actually trace through what's gonna happen in this code with an example, because as much as this code isn't very long, I don't personally think it's very obvious how it works. So let's say that the number is initially set to something like this. We'll say 849. And right now, at the start, reverse is going to be zero. Now let's trace through line by line what's going to happen. So first, we're going to calculate the remainder of this number. And the remainder in this case is going to be 9. Because if you take this number and you divide it by 10, it would go into that number 84 times, but you have nine remainder. And so right now, remainder would be nine. When we multiply zero by 10 here, reverse is still gonna be zero. And then we add the remainder to the reverse and we get nine. Now when we take the number and we divide it by 10, we're gonna be left with 84 because 10 goes into 849 84 times. So that's why I said this operation here effectively removes that last digit from the number. So the number doesn't equal zero yet, which means that the process is going to continue and we'll have another iteration of this loop body. So we're going to get the remainder of the number modulus 10 again. And this time that remainder is going to be four because 10 goes into 84 eight times and we're going to have four remainder. We take the reverse and we multiply it by 10 effectively shifting over the digits in reverse by one to the left. So we get 90 here. 
we add the remainder to the reverse, and now we get 94. And then when we take the number and we divide it by 10, this time we get back eight. So again, still we don't have that the number is equal to zero, and therefore we're gonna have another iteration of this loop body. So this time the remainder is gonna be really simple. The remainder of eight divided by 10 is eight. So the remainder is gonna be eight. We again take the reverse, multiply it by 10, which is gonna shift over the digits to the left by one, and we get 940. Then we add the remainder to the reverse, and we get 948. Now when we take the number and we divide it by 10, we get zero because 10 goes into eight zero times. Now the number is equal to zero and we're not gonna have another iteration of the loop body. And at this point, we've reversed the number. Let's actually give it a test now. So we'll save it here and run it and we'll try our test number 849 and we'll see if we get back 948. So 849, we get back 948. So it seems to be working. We could try something else. We could try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we get back nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And so we've written a program in C that can reverse an integer. Check out portfoliocourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.